Hey all right, this is the Emplace Hunter for Iron Glass. Today we're going to be reading Second Samuel 5 from the New Russian version, also known as the NIV version. This one is going to be long, guess, and going to go to BibleGiver.com. I guess I'm going to go to Bible and let's go how you guys know, but let's get started. Second Samuel 5, New Russian version, NIV. David becomes king over Israel. All the tribes of Israel came to David at Hebron and said, You are your own flesh and blood. In the past, while Saul was king over us, you were the one who led Israel in their military campaigns. The Lord said to you, be shepherd my, you will shepherd my people, Israel, and you will become their ruler. When all the elders of Israel had come to King David at Hebron, the king made a covenant with them at Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel. David was, David was 30 years old when he had, became king, and he reigned 40 years. He, in Hebron, he reigned over Judah seven years and six months, and in Jerusalem, he reigned over all Israel and Judah. 33 years. David conquers Jerusalem. The king and his men marched to Jerusalem to attack the Jebusites who lived there. The Jebusites said to David, You will not get in here. Even the blind and the lame can wear you off. They thought David cannot get in here. Nevertheless, David captured the fortress of Zion, which is the city of David. On that day, David had said, <clears throat> Anyone who conquers the Jebusites will have to use the water staff to reach those lame and blind, who are David's enemies. That is why they say the blind and lame will not enter the palace. David then took up residence in the fortress and called it to the, the city of David. He built up the areas around it from the terraces inward, and he became more and more powerful. He is the Lord God Almighty was with him. Now here you am, king of Tyra, sent envoys to David, along with cedar, cedar logs and carpenters and stone masons, and they built a palace for David. Then David knew that the Lord had established him as king of Israel, and had <coughs> sorry guys, and had exalted his kingdom for the, the sake of his people Israel. After he left Hebron, David took more concubines and wives in Jerusalem, and more sons and daughters were born to him. These are the names of the children born to him there: Shammua, Shobab, Nathan, Solomon, Ibar, Elisha, Nepheg, Japhia. Elishama, Eliada, and Elaphelet. David defeats the Philistines. When the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over Israel, they went up in full force to search for him. But David heard about it and went down to the stronghold. Now the Philistines had come and spread out in the valley of Rephem. So David inquired of the Lord, Shall I go and attack the, the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hands? The Lord answered them, Go, for I will surely, de surely deliver the Philistines into your hands. <laughs> So David went to Baal Perazim, and there he defeated them. He went. He said, "As water break, as waters break out, the Lord has broken out against my enemies before me." So that place was called Baal Perazim. The Philistines abandoned their idols there, and David and his men carried them off. Once more, the Philistines came up and spread out in the valley of Rephaim. So David inquired of the Lord, and he answered, "Go, do not go straight up, but circle around them and attack them in front of the popular trees." As soon as you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the, of the poplar trees, move quickly because that will mean the Lord has gone out in front of you to strike the Philistine army. So David did as the Lord commanded him, and he struck down the Philistines all the way from Gibeon to Gezar. Okay, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to click that like button, make sure to click the bell so you don't know when I post. Anyway, guys, if you guys. Um, as you guys can probably tell, I'm kind of sick. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.